So a couple of weeks ago we did a video where we tried photographing damselflies that we couldn't get close enough to. What do you do when you can't get close enough to your subject? You get yourself a bigger lens. So this is the Canon EF 500mm f4 Prime lens. This is an absolute beast when it comes to nature photography like birding or any type of wildlife photography. Now I've borrowed this off my friend Richie who has graciously lent it to me to get this video done. So what we encountered in the last video when we was at this pool is we just physically couldn't get close enough to the damselflies to take a decent picture. Either they were too skittish or they were landing in the middle of the pool where I physically cannot get to to get the shot. So with this nice 500mm Prime, we can now get close enough. But we can't just use this Prime out of the box as it comes. As it stands, the minimum focusing distance of this lens is 37 meters, and that's way too far for us to focus. So what I've done is I've stuck my extension tubes on, exactly the same as we did with our 50mm when we first started this YouTube channel. Put those extension tubes on, that has reduced the minimum focusing distance to about about one and a half meters, something like that, which is enabling me now to get pictures of the damselflies when they're in the middle of this pool. So my camera settings for this particular shot is gonna be one one thousand of a second, because we're not using flash, we need to freeze the action, so we need our shutter speed high. I'm at 7.1 on the aperture because I want it to be really sharp. Now this is an f4 lens, but what I found is it's a little bit soft at f4, so we stopped down a little bit to give us some more sharpness. And I'm at ISO 800, more than capable enough for this camera to handle. Now, I can adjust my f-stop, bring it down to say 5, 6, something like that, up my shutter speed if I need to, or lower the ISO. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with these settings, so I'm just going to carry on shooting these damselflies. And because I'm using extension tubes, I've also opted for manual focusing because what I'm finding is it's uh, the SRs find it quite difficult to lock onto exactly where I want it. I want it pinpoint on the damselfly's eyes and the SR just can't seem to cope with that. So I am on manual focus. So I'm just having a go at handheld photography with this thing. It can be done, but unfortunately it's more like going to the gym than photography. So I will definitely be using the tripod again. So I got interrupted by a damselfly fly, uh, landing in a nice spot just then. Uh, so yeah, definitely need a tripod for this setup. It's awkward to get across this thing, isn't it? Okay, now I'll go back. He's in this. And they actually left it in this state. Yeah, it's like one of those adventure obstacle courses. So in the previous video, we staked out this piece of uh, long grass here, where a damselfly kept landing on it repeatedly. Now unfortunately the undergrowth and the reeds have all grown since then and that is no longer an option. So what I've been doing is I've just been observing the damselflies, see where they favour uh, to land. There's a bush over there they like to land on but we can't get the camera in place for that one. And the other place they like to land is on this tree right here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up here on the tripod with the 500mm lens and we're going to wait for an opportunity for a damselfly to land on this tree. I'm all set up, just got to wait for a damselfly to land on that tree now. So while we're waiting for it to land, I'm going to pick a section of the tree that looks nice and set up the camera settings. So I'm going to need to get back a bit further, I think. Depending on where he lands. So I need to get right back. Oh, that's awful close. 
Here we go. No, he didn't. He changed his mind. They don't land for very long, do they? Problem is, that wind stays up. I can't get the picture because it's blowing the uh, tree all over the place. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh, he's gone the other side of the tree. They don't stick around very long. There he is. And he's got his arse in too, mate. That's a shame. He keeps landing on that piece there, though, doesn't he? So I think my, uh, my presence has disturbed him a little bit on here, but there is a long piece of grass down there that one damsel fly keeps landing on. So I'm going to reset the camera up to get a shot off there. The sun's a bit harsh, but not much we can do about that. But unfortunately, to, uh, to block out or shade that piece, you'd have to be standing in the pool, so that ain't going to work. Unfortunately, I don't like the background. So I'm going to try and position myself so there's some green background in the background of that shot. If we can, but I don't think I can uh, position it properly. We've got a couple of shots from here. Unfortunately, they're not landing on the, uh, the tree where they was before. So I'm going to come back round to the other side. It was till I saw that one. All right, so I'm done with this side of the pool. We're going to come back round to the other side and uh, carry on getting some shots. So I've got some shots I like. What I want to do is talk about doing some video. Now, video is something I want to do a lot more of on the channel. So that's macro video. Or just wildlife video. So I'm going to do, I'm going to switch my camera into video mode and I already have a preset set up for 4k at 23 frames a second. Now when it comes to video I'm not going to go too technical for you but our short speed needs to be double the frame rate so that's going to be the nearest I can get is 150th. The native ISO on the SR for video is 400. Now we can't adjust any of those to get our exposure. So to get the proper exposure, all we've got to do now is just adjust our aperture. And we want to overexpose by one stop when doing video because I'm recording in Canon Log. Once we've done that, I'm just going to press record. Now on the EOS R, the 4K is a cropped 4K. So I'm actually getting more reach than I would do if I was using the full frame of the sen uh, the full width of the sensor. So another thing I do like about uh, the EOS R is I can set up a preset on video mode to C3. Now the preset I've set up is full HD at 60 frames a second. So I'm able to slow it down to about 40%. And what that allows me to do is I can see my uh, viewfinder here, and this is set up for photography. If I see something interesting, all I've got to do is press the record button to capture some video. Once I press record, it's going to switch over to the settings that are on C3, which is 1 225th of a second on the shutter because it's double the frame rate, which is 60 frames a second, and ISO 400. So instantly it's going to be overexposed. And all I have to do is, once I press record, is just crank up that f-stop to get a correct exposure. So that's it from this macro walk with the Canon 500mm f4 prime lens. Here are my favourite shots from this macro walk that has been edited in Lightroom. That's it. Now, obviously, this video has been for just for some fun. I don't recommend you go out and buy this 500mm lens just to do macro photography with. It's all just for fun. But I am going to take the opportunity while I got this lens to do some macro photography of other subjects. So we're going to choose a location, go there, do that. And I'm also going to be taking this lens to do some wildlife photography. So let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. I want to thank my patrons for making it possible to make these videos. I want to thank them for their continued support. My name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bet when Richie sees this party, he won't like it. <laughs>
Now, once I press record, it's going to switch over. You know, <laughs> I didn't lock off the tripod. Now, of course, this video has been for just fun. A what if video if you had a 500mm millimeter. <laughs> Start again.